Hey, welcome back to part 6 of our Dreamweaver template tutorial from dreamweavertutorial.co.uk Now I want you to make a copy of your index page so that we can make changes to it and keep the original index page intact. So I'm going to go to edit copy and then to edit paste and we'll paste a new copy of our index.html file. If you've just stumbled across this tutorial then just open up whatever page you have, whatever index page you have and uh, let's get started. Okay, so up comes the index.html page. Um, if I roll over main content, this is the area we're going to be adjusting. We're going to be putting in some new text. So if I click on it, you'll see there's some shaded areas on the left and the right. They're margins and they're pushing out by 200 pixels from the left and 200 pixels from the right so the text is suspended if you like in the center so I'm going to click inside the main content div tag and I'm going to highlight all of the text and then I want you to just press the delete key and delete all of the text now here's our page here's our main content div tag it's empty apart from a header one tag so click inside now we've clicked inside design view not inside code view so we're going to make a deliberate mistake and it's an example of how you should use code view to make sure you're in exactly the right place you need to be okay so I'm jumping over to word now where I've written an article on website hosting for dreamweavertutorial.co.uk and notice there's some basic format in there there's some different color text, different color fonts. Um, we're going to copy it over and in the first example we're going to put it into Dreamweaver without any attributes. So no formatting at all. So copy your text and we'll go back into Dreamweaver and place the cursor inside design view and we're going to right click and we'll paste that text inside. But instead of going to paste we're going to go to paste special now you'd normally go over to Paste Special if you wanted to copy over all of the formatting. So if you create a page in Microsoft Word with bold text and colored text, then you would go and paste it with the formatting. Uh, we're going to go text only and press OK. Now you can see the text has been pasted in, but it's, it's huge. So um, we've made a mistake. And that mistake is that we have put our cursor in design view but it's still inside the h1 header tag so we'll have to make some changes in code view so I'm going to go into code view and have a look and there's the h1 header tag at the bottom of the text there um, you can just highlight the text and uh, it will show you the position in code view as well or just place your cursor anywhere inside of the text um, we can see the h1 header tags at the top but we'll start at the bottom and we're going to delete the h1 header tag from the bottom and we're going to put in a paragraph tag instead. Now we're going to shoot up to the top and we're going to take the h1 header tag out of there and we're going to put another paragraph tag in there, an opening paragraph tag. Okay, once you've done that, you'll find that the changes will take effect. Uh, you'll have to click inside design view or click the refresh button for those changes to take effect um, but the text will change, it will go down in size to the default attribute of the paragraph anyway that was a quick example of how you can make a mistake in design view go into code view and hopefully recover from it so here's the text with all of the uh, formatting gone I'm going to separate the headline and uh, we're going to make a few changes to that I'm going to turn that into a h1 header tag so either highlight the text you want to change or click anywhere inside of that line and we'll go down to the properties inspector and we'll change the format to a heading one for those of you who are new to Dreamweaver the properties inspector is located just there so go down to format select heading one and you see the text has changed to a heading one the text is just a little bit too big though so we're going to need to adjust the heading and make it a little bit smaller so to do that we're going to need to create a new CSS rule so if we go down and have a look at the tag inspector we can see we need to create a new CSS rule for h1 in div pound main content now if we go over to the CSS styles panel we can see there is a h1 CSS rule but that only applies to the header tag 
the header div tag we want ours for the main content div tag so we will have to create a new rule so looking back at the CSS styles panel we can see there is a h1 CSS rule there in the header div tag so let's create a new CSS rule for our main content div tag click on the new CSS rule selector button now we have targeted the h1 main content div tag and that's because our cursor was inside the heading in design view which is good because now it saved us a little bit of time we'll save this rule into our main CSS document so click OK now if we look back in the CSS styles panel we can see that that new CSS rule has been created so let's make a few changes to our heading we'll go to the font family and we'll change that to Vedana we can also change the font size and we're going to change that to 12 from here you can also adjust the font style whether you want it to be bold or italic and there are also a few different text decorations that you can apply and none that I really bother with to be honest and you can also specify the colour what colour you'd like it to be you can either put in the hex colours or you can pick the colour with a colour picker let's click apply and you see that the heading has changed it's quite small so we'll readjust that so I'm going to make the font size about 14 and then click apply. So I'll see you in part 7 where we'll be adjusting the text some more.